Hello mushroom pickers and welcome once again back to Tung Sawang Mushroom Farm. I've finally got the um, humidifying system up and running correctly. All the pipes are in, everything's sealed off. Um, so I just wanted to give you a run through of the system. There's previous videos of how I've set it up and some of the equipment. Um, if you've not seen them, just check check back. I'll, I'll put a link to them as well on, on this. Um, I hope you find it useful. Okay, I'll just flick the camera around so you can see everything. Right, so this, this is the system. We've got the reserve tank, which is full of um, reverse osmosis RO water. Um, that then runs into the tank, which has got a fan which draws in fresh air piped in, in. then the um, pond fogger which is inside creates the fog and the fan then blows that through into the piping system. I've just got to tidy the wiring up now it's up and running I'll, I'll put a board in and fix everything securely. So the inlet uh, pump is operated on a sonoff switch and same with the outlet to draw off the CO2. Um, so we've got this, this blue pipe in. The bottom one is for the humidity. So at the moment it's I've got it plumbed in to run what I call three grow cells. So we've got grow cell one there, this is grow cell two and then this is grow cell three. I've just capped off this four inch piping at the moment. Um, I'm estimating that I can do with each one of these systems, I think I can do probably five cells. So I'll just continue this piping along and do a two more cells here on, on off the same system. And then down that end, I'll do uh, replicate the system. So I'll put another fan, another fogger, and, and, and run some piping in. But this is really on for the trials for the first batch that we're gonna start next week. So that's the system. Um, I'll fire up the fogger or the, the humidification. So at the moment I can do a manual override just by pressing this button here on the Sonoff switch. So that's now fired it up. You should be able to hear the fan. So fan kicks in, there's fog getting made in that chamber there and that's then getting blown through the piping system. If you check out the polythene on top of the cells now you'll see we've got a positive air pressure. If you, if you notice the cell um, lids are starting to raise so that tells me we've got good positive air pressure. The, the lids have got like a rubber seal on. They're not completely airtight, but they do give us a, a good enough seal for, for what I'm after. Um, once we're in full operation, I'm expecting to run the fan and the fog for one minute, off for three, and in that off period, we'll exhaust for one minute. Um, you see already, the, especially these two cells, there's good positive air pressure in there. Uh, which tells me we've got a, a, a good flow of air going into the chambers. Um, if you, it's probably easier on this cell actually. I lift this up, you can see, you should be able to pick the fog coming in there, humidity, um, close it down again, and keep, keep the humidity in there. Um, so that's the system under positive air pressure with a good flow of air going in. So this is just for demo purposes. So I'll flick, I'll flick that off. That's that's the humidity going in. And then, interestingly, now if I flick on the exhaust, which is set up really to exhaust any CO2 gas. Um, which certainly oyster mushrooms don't like. So if I flick the fan on, it will draw out here, which you can probably hear. And if you notice straight away, 
we're going into a negative air pressure in the chambers if you if you look the the, the lids are being drawn down um, so again it shows that we've got a nice sealed system um, and that's drawing out the uh, co2 i might need to maybe put a little trick trickle vent or something to help exhaust but it's trial and error at the moment so there we go that's my um, humidification system hopefully it'll work i'm gonna get um, a digital humidity stat and temperature just just to keep an eye on things but i'm confident that that will uh, be sufficient for what, what we need so I, I'll flick that off now. Um, there we go. Hope that helps. Um, I'll try and put a parts list on the end of this video as well, and a link to the setup videos on, you know, how, how I set this system up originally. Hope that's of use. Bye.